the hub. Survival class difficulty, zero. Safe, secure, devoid of entities. The hub is an enigmatic level of the back rooms and is a safe place for any wanderer looking to pass by and or live in. The hub seems to be a tunnel with both locked and unlocked doors on either side. The hub represents an infinite, dimly lit underground road tunnel that seems to have no end. The flooring of the tunnel systems is a dry asphalt road with three sections of yellow lines. The walls are lined with large slabs of concrete with seams in between every time a new slab is presented. Bright yellow industrial lights also line these halls as it illuminates the hub into this orange hue. The hub usually twists left, right, up, and down, causing the layout to be wonky in some areas. However, due to its linear path, it is fairly easy to traverse. The hub seems to be completely devoid of sound, making the level feel fairly empty. In most areas, the hub is lined with large concrete doors on either side sorted in rows, each bearing a strange symbol carved above said door. Each symbol is unrecognizable and can be compared to similar symbols such as crop circles. The doors themselves are not numbered or otherwise labeled with anything else, and the order of the doors does not correspond to the order of levels in the MEG database. Most of the doors are locked and cannot be opened without its respective level key. Every door includes a keyhole to the right of the door, which is a polygonal shape corresponding with the symbol on the door carved within. Lock picking these doors is impossible, as within the keyholes is a complex locking mechanism that morphs and changes shapes, making it impossible to open said door with a lockpick or the wrong level key. The doors leading to levels 1, 11, and 178 are the only ones that are unlocked and permanently remain so. The door to level 1 is on the 7th row, the door to level 11 is on the 10th row, and the door to level 178 is on the 5th row. Anything further seems to always be locked. If you enter the hub while in possession of a level key, you can follow its resonance towards the respective level door and unlock it yourself. However, all doors to have previously been manually unlocked always become locked once again for any subsequent entrance into the hub. Numerous entities have been seen to successfully enter the hub in the past, but never re-emerged from it nor were they ever found anywhere within the level itself after entering it. Various entities and ancient groups such as the Lost have always referred to the Hub as the Crossroads. However, the true origin of this name is unknown. Bases, Communities, and Outposts The Hub serves as a hotspot for various wanderers and travels alike. Many different outposts have been made in the Hub for various activities such as makeshift homes or trading routes. You may find many different places to visit before walking into your next level. MEG Outpost Doorstep Carpet this serves as the MEG's hub outpost. Various different level keys are stored here before they disappear. Any wanderer can ask if a level key is available to use within the hub. This is mainly where regiment lockbreakers deposit the keys they have collected. Camp Amber Hub Outpost This is the fourth base from Camp Amber, which originally resided on level 1. This group usually helps newcomers and teaches them about the back rooms. This specific outpost will provide limited supplies for any wanderer that comes their way if needed. This outpost will also teach people what levels they are about to walk into. This group doesn't really have a fixed point as they wander around to help others. This group is also aided by the local MEG to further help the wanderers. Unnamed Lost Civilization Various members of the Lost have been reported to wander the hub. They claim it to be their territory and hold a village within the hub's walls. Information about this village is currently unknown. Entrances and Exits There is a consistent way of accessing the hub. From the entrance of level 1, head down the corridor. Go through the door and then continue until the end of that corridor. Then, double back to the entrance of the level. There will then be a diverging path. Take the left path, through which you will find another divergence. Take the right path, then at the next one, take a left, and at the next one, take a right. You will see two doors labeled A and B. Take the B door. Upon crossing that door, you will find yourself in an identical room to the previous one. Now take the A door. You will find yourself in the hub. If you get any of these steps wrong, you will end up somewhere completely random. The above method is the only tried and true way of purposefully accessing the hub. However, given that it is connected to every level, it is very likely to access it from any other level. This typically occurs if someone accidentally noclips or a rare phenomenon in which a door to the hub may temporarily manifest in a random level. To exit, simply go through any level door that is unlocked, leading to its respective level. 
Upon exiting the hub, it will be impossible to re-enter afterwards. Use your opportunity wisely while you are in it. MVG notice. Date, July 19, 2016. The hub is a lot larger than we originally had thought. It seems to split into multiple intersections with more tunnel passageways to explore. It is now a series of tunnels rather than a singular tunnel. It is currently unknown if it was always like this or if the level had changed itself. Strange doors with different designs from other doors found within the hub started to miraculously appear in thin air in places where they had never been before. All wanderers of the hub must stick within the known area of the hub at all costs. It is not recommended to explore further. We will be sending in a team of 